welcome everyone to a new video so in this video we're going to talk about yet another cross coupling reaction actually i previously have made videos on the various type of cross coupling reaction so here today we are going to talk about yet another important cross coupling reaction which is called lipskin scroggle cross coupling reaction so basically in the original protocol this is this particular reaction is used for the synthesis of ketones so wherein what we use is thioesters boronic acid under palladium catalyst and what we use is a copper core catalyst in this particular reaction so it is a very interesting reaction not something which you are generally taught at the master's level but i thought that it is very important that you guys should know about this particular reactions because uh, uh in, in the future friends such questions could be asked in various entrance exams as well as it is very important for you guys to understand this so if you like the video share it with your friends it's very very important for you guys to share the knowledge you never know which of your friends find this particular video very very useful okay so we are going to look at the mechanism of the reaction and various important examples of this particular cross coupling reaction okay. Uh, so as I said, this particular reaction is a reaction between a thioester and a boronic acid. So in the original process or in the original protocol, what do you do is basically start from the thioester and a boronic acid. And what you get, get is the ketone. So that is the species that you got. And in this particular reaction, what do you use is a palladium catalyst. Okay, so what here what we have is a palladium 2 catalyst. So we need a ligand to form the palladium 0 catalyst. So the ligand that we use in this particular reaction is try to uh, uh, try furyl phosphine okay here what we have is a furan moiety at the which is attached to phosphine as the two position okay and what we are using is a co-catalyst in this particular reaction which is usually abbreviated as copper tc so this is nothing but is it is copper thiopene 2 carboxylate so that's the structure of this particular co-catalyst which is required in this particular reaction and Later on, that was the original protocol. Just like I said, this is the original process for the formation of ketone. But later on, you can see the different varieties of electrophiles as well as the nucleophiles were also explored. Okay, so apart from thioesters, these heteroaryl thioethers, these thioamides, and this thioalkanates, as well as these thiocyanates, were also used as the electrophiles. Matlab. Par. Apart from that, various boronic acid, organostanate, organoindium, organomagnesium, and these are the different kinds of nucleophiles that were also explored here. Okay, it's a very interesting mechanism. So here, what I'm discussing is the first generation mechanism. This is probably the simplistic mechanism. After this particular mechanism, there was a mechanism which is generation two and generation three mechanism, which is different from this particular mechanism. So in this particular video, I am not, you know, talking about those two mechanisms. Okay, so it is important to understand what is actually happening in this reaction. So I am not going too deep into the mechanism of this particular reaction. So here, what I am discussing is only generation first mechanism. So what happens in the first step? So the, this particular thioester, it uh, the, the lone pair of electron on this thio group of this uh, thioester, it attacks the copper of copper thiophene 2 carboxylate so this is a coordination means these lone pair of electrons they coordinate with the copper so this is the kind of you know complex that is formed and as soon as this particular complex is formed what happens there is a oxidative addition that happens between this carbon and this sulfur bond and how does this palladium zero is formed as i have said that this palladium is in plus two oxidation state and when it reacts with the uh, tri 2 furyl phosphine, it forms palladium 0. So that's how this oxidative insertion takes place. So what it gives us this intermediate or this complex 5. So in the next step, the step that is the most important step, which is what we call is transmetallation. Transmetallation is step by which this aryl group is transferred onto this particular carbonyl. And it, what they believe that this is the kind of transition state by which it happens i am not again going too deep into the transition state it looks pretty complicated okay so agar aapko isko samajhna hai you can just simply pause it and try and understand it okay 
again having said that i'm not going too deep into the mechanism of this particular reaction okay so what are the byproduct as a result of the transmetallation we eject these species plus this particular complex which undergoes reductive elimination to give us the palladium zero plus the desired ketone so what we did you started from a thio uh, a thioester and you use and boronic acid and what you form is the ketone moiety so what is so important about this particular reaction at times in the total synthesis or in various methods we are required to form this ketone moiety and using other methods it becomes pretty difficult that is where this lipskin scroggle cross coupling reaction could be very very useful now we are going to look at the various important examples of this particular so you can clearly see in the first example what we have is a palladium catalyst uh, uh, phosphorus and again this is a copper co-catalyst in this particular action so what we have started with this thioester and what we have is a boronic acid so you can clearly see what we have formed is an alpha beta unsaturated ketone if you had to form this particular you know bond using other methods it might have been difficult but you can clearly see that they have taken advantage of Lipskin scroggle cross coupling reaction to form this carbon carbon bond very very efficiently okay and uh, here is the second example of this particular category so here what we have is this a uh, vinyl trimethyl tin so this is kind of a you know uh, uh, a coupling partner that is used in the still coupling reaction and here but again what we have is a thioester using palladium catalyst and here what we are using is a different type of a copper core catalyst so this is the structure of this co uh, copper core catalyst and this is exactly what it is doing so what we are forming is again this conjugated ketone it is very very important such you can clearly imagine how powerful this particular coupling reaction is up clearly the exact here we have is a benzyl group we have these you know uh, cyclic ether moieties and here we have this tbs group opmb group and other functional groups so this particular coupling reaction tolerates all these functional groups it means koi bhi functional group aapka deprotect bhi nahi hua hai aur stereo chemistry at any of these position कहीं पर भी हेम्पर नहीं हुई है दीज इन दिस पर्टिकुलर कपलिंग रिएक्शन और और ये रिएक्शन यू कैन रीजीली डू इट एट दी रूम टेम्परेचर दैट इज वन ऑफ दी एडवांटेजेस ऑफ दिस पर्टिकुलर रिएक्शन अगले एग्जांपल के अंदर अगेन व्हाट वी हैव इज दिस ऑर्गेनोटेन एंड हियर व्हाट वी हैज अ थायोएस्टर अगेन यूजिंग अ पैलेडियम कैटलाइज्ड क्रॉस कपलिंग रिएक्शन व्हाट वी फॉर्म इज अ कीटोन अगर आपको नॉर्मल सर्कमस्टांसेस में यहाँ पर कीटोन मॉइटी इंट्रोड्यूस करनी होती इट वुड बीन वे डिफिकल्ट बट हियर व्हाट वी हैव डन वी हैव टेकन एडवांटेज ऑफ क्रॉस कपलिंग रिएक्शन टू कैरी आउट दिस पर्टिकुलर ट्रांसफॉर्मेशन सिमिलर एग्जांपल हियर ऑर्गेनो टिन स्पीशीज विच इज मोर लाइक अ स्टिल कपलिंग पार्टनर अंडर दी स्क्रॉगल लिपस्किन स्क्रॉगल क्रॉस कपलिंग रिएक्शन तो एक जो चीज जो होती है जो बहुत इंपॉर्टेंट है दैट इज समथिंग दैट यू मस्ट टेक इन माइंड वेन एवर वी आर टॉकिंग अबाउट दी लिप स्किन स्क्रॉल क्रॉस कपलिंग रिएक्शन द मोस्ट इंपॉर्टेंट थिंग दैट यू मस्ट लुक एट इज द प्रेजेंस ऑफ अ कॉपर कैटलिस्ट एंड इफ यू हैव थिंग्स लाइक थायो एस्ट्रोमाइडी आप डायरेक्टली समझ जाइए कि वट वी आर फॉर्मिंग इज द कार्बन कार्बन बॉन्ड बिटवीन दीज टू मॉइडी एंड इट इज हैज टू बी लाइक अ कार्बोनिल या फिर कॉन्जुगेटेड कार्बोनिल जो कि नॉर्मल सर्कमस्टांसिस में बनना काफी मुश्किल है मुश्किल है मतलब इम्पॉसिबल नहीं है अगेन दिस इज अ स्टेप वाइज यू नो स्टेप वाइज रिएक्शन ऑफ वट आई कॉल इज अ वेरी गुड केमिस्ट्री बकवाल केमिस्ट्री कपल्ड विद दी लिपस्किन स्क्रॉगल क्रॉस कपलिंग रिएक्शन सो वट हैपन्स इन द फर्स्ट स्टेप यू कैन क्लियरली सी वट वी हैव पेलेडियम कैटलिस्ट बाइन एप इज अग एन एंड वट वी आर यूजिंग इज एन एमीन सो हेयर वट वी हैव इज लाइक एराइल आयोडाइड एज वेल एज दिस हेट्रो एल्काइल थायोइथर सो दैट्स हाउ वी नेम दैम सो पहला स्टेप आपका क्या हो रहा है इस बकवाल्ड कपलिंग ध्यान रखना है आपको बकवाल्ड कपलिंग में आपका यहाँ पे क्या हो रहा है एमिनेशन हो रहा है सो दिस इज द स्पीशीज दैट वी गॉट इन द नेक्स्ट स्टेप यू कैन क्लियरली सी वट वी आर यूजिंग इज दिस कॉपर को कैटलिस इन दिस पर्टिकुलर रिएक्शन एंड वट वी हैव इज दिस हेट्रो एल्काइल थायोइथर सो दिस इज So perfectly substituted for to form the carbon carbon bond. अब इस clearly situation में देख सकते हैं कि यहाँ पे हमने ketone form नहीं किया है क्योंकि यहाँ पे हमारा जो respective coupling partner था जो हमारा electrophile था वो different था वो ether था rather than the ketone okay rather than the thioester. So that is why what we have formed is a simple carbon carbon bond here okay. 
it's a very very important and very interesting reaction and uh, this is one such reaction where what we have is this is kind this is a very good example of intramolecular cyclization so clearly they accept in the first step what they are doing they are treating with the 9 bbn and then they have been exposed to this cross coupling reaction condition so what is happening so in the first step humko clearly pata hai when the olefins is treated with 9 bbn this is what we form theek hai so this is kind of an uh, काइंड ऑफ जैसे कि हम यहां पर क्या कर रहे हैं इस केस के अंदर तो हम सेपरेटली जैसे फर्स्ट केस ले इस केस में तो हम सेपरेटली ऑर्गेनो ब्रोनिक एसिड ले रहे हैं बट यहां पे हमने क्या किया कि व्हाट वी हैव जनरेटेड एन इन सी टू ब्रोनिक एसिड हमने इन सी टू ब्रोनिक एसिड जनरेट किया और जैसे ही हमने उसको रिएक्शन कंडीशन में एक्सपोज किया दिस अंडर गोज साइक्लाइजेशन इंट्रामोलिकुलर साइक्लाइजेशन टू गिव यू द डिजायर्ड इंट्रामोलिकुलर गिव यू दिस पर्टिकुलर कीटोन इट्स अ वेरी इंटरेस्टिंग रिएक्शन and here is the last example of this category so here again what we have is this uh, heteroaryl thioether and what we have is an alkenyl species okay and if when we expose these to the palladium condition although agar aap isko carefully dekhenge aapko ye lagega ki is position ke upar iska sonogish these are nothing but these are very very similar to the sonogashira coupling reaction lekin agar aap clearly dekhen kis tarah se sonogashira how it is different from the sonogashira coupling reaction is the base in this particular condition we are not using any uh, uh, neither hunic base or you know uh, triethylamine as a base and cesium carbonate will not do the same purpose that those bases will do okay so as a result of which in this this is a very very good example of uh, lipskin scroggel cross coupling reaction so that is why the uh, reaction takes place at this particular position to form the carbon carbon bond rather than at this particular सेंटर uh, मतलब इस कार्बन के ऊपर इस क्लोरो के ऊपर नहीं हो रही है कपलिंग आई होप आप ये चीज समझ पा रहे होंगे अब जो मैं एग्जांपल समझ बताने वाला हूं तो थोड़े से डिफरेंट है जैसे कि पहला एग्जांपल है दिस इज अ वेरी इंटरेस्टिंग एग्जांपल व्हाट वी हैव अगेन हियर व्हाट वी हैव इज एन ऑर्गेनोटिन स्पीशीज थायोएस्टर फर्स्ट स्टेप अल्फा बीटा अन कॉन्जुगेटेड सिस्टम सो इन द सेकंड स्टेप व्हाट दे हैव यूज इज दे हैव कैरीड आउट दिस स्टीरो सेलेक्टिव रिडक्शन ऑफ दिस कार्बन इन यूजिंग Triphenylsilyl hydride. Okay, and you can clearly see they have used a very polar protic solvent like HMPa, polar aprotic solvent. Sorry for this to bring about this particular reduction. अगर आपको इसके बारे में ज़्यादा जानना है this particular transform, this particular reagent के बारे में, I strongly suggest you to follow this particular paper. ये publication है. इस paper के बारे में आप paper के अंदर सब कुछ दिया गया है कि किस तरह से these carbonyl can be reduced to the alcohols using this particular reagent and they have also discussed about the stereochemistry and uh, we can uh, couple two particular reactions for this the suzuki uh, mayora and the second is lipskin scroll coupling jaise if you are starting from this particular substrate so in the first step what you have done is the suzuki coupling so suzuki coupling ke liye what you have taken is the boronic acid all this reagent so r1 aapka yahan attach ho gaya so in the second step you can clearly see what we are using is a Copper co-catalyst, okay, which is a clear indication of the Lipskin Scroggel coupling. So, if we are using copper co-catalyst, then here the substrate that we have is this heteroaryl thioether. So, we know clearly that this R2 group is going to go here to form the carbon-carbon bond. And we can also go stepwise. Let us suppose if we are starting from this such such sort of a substrate, we can use one type of organoboronic reagent to form r and then we can just take r double dash different type of a reagent to install the other uh, other you know other uh, functional group but agar humko ek pot mein hi karna hai we can just take excess of it to install both the group at the same time our last example is ka hai again thioester hai and in the first step what we are doing again uh, this is a perfect example of scroggel coupling सो uh, so यहां पर आपका क्या हुआ कि कार्बोनिल और इन दोनों की कपलिंग हुई टू गिव यू दिस पर्टिकुलर इंटरमीडिएट और आपका जैसे ही ये आपका इंटरमीडिएट बना दिस इज परफेक्टली प्लेस फॉर डील ऑल्डर रिएक्शन ये आपका इधर आया ये इधर आया इधर आया टू गिव यू दिस पर्टिकुलर डिजायर्ड कंपाउंड सो हम क्लियरली देख सकते हैं कि लिपस्किन स्क्रॉगल क्रॉस कपलिंग रिएक्शन कितनी ज्यादा यूजफुल है एंड इट गिव्स राइज टू वेराइटी ऑफ इंटरेस्टिंग सबस्टेट आई होप यू लाइक दिस पर्टिकुलर वीडियो and if you have any confusion do ask me send in your comments okay
थैंक यू वेरी मच हैव अ गुड डे